a brief video, but a vitally important concept. Definition. Say that we have a function f of x, an anti derivative of f of x is another function. Which would traditionally be written capital F of X, such that the derivative of capital F of X. is lower case f of x. We are going to spend um, basically the rest of this semester and then half of calculus two talking about antiderivatives. Although we're going to give them an alternative name fairly soon. For now, let's just look at an example or two. Say that f of x equals the cosine of x. And now let's just pause for a moment or two while you give this some thought. Do you know a function whose derivative is the cosine? What I hope you came up with was the sine function. The derivative of the sine is the cosine. So this is an antiderivative of this. Now you'll notice I say n antiderivative instead of the antiderivative. The sine of x plus two also has the cosine as a derivative. The sine turns to the cosine, the two turns to zero. So antiderivatives aren't unique. However, that's restate. A theorem. We first mentioned this when we were talking about the mean value theorem. If f sub one of x and f sub two of x are both antiderivatives of the same function f of x, then one of these functions is just the other function plus a number, plus a constant. You'll see that up here. 
are two antiderivatives for the sine of x and the sine of x plus 2. And indeed, one of these antiderivatives is just the other antiderivative plus a number. So antiderivatives are almost unique, you might say. They're unique up to a constant. 